Hi, I'm Ben Hanawalt, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco. And today, I'm excited to talk to you about the Tensor Pulse Strategy. The Tensor Pulse Tightening Strategy is not new to Atlas Copco. We've actually been using this strategy for a couple of years now on our SRB wireless tools. The difference now is that the SRB wireless tools were limited to 25 Newton meters. Now, we've expanded the range over to our cabled STR tools. So now that we've talked a little bit about what this strategy is, let's talk about what we need to run this strategy. The first thing we need is gonna be our PowerFocus 6000 controller with the 3.5 version of software. The TensorPulse strategy was added specifically into the 3.5 software, so if you aren't running that version, you are not gonna have access to this strategy. The next thing that we need is our cabled tool. We have the STR range of tools, but the Tensor Pulse strategy has been added specifically to the STR 6150, 6170, and 61100 as of today. So once we have our controller and we have our tool, we are also gonna need a license, whether it be a process virtual station type or a low reaction tightening strategy license. Either one of those will allow you and give you access to run the TensorPulse strategy. And last but not least, we're gonna need one of Atlas Copco's pulse drive sockets. Now the pulse drive socket is a new socket that was designed specifically to have a rotational play that is meant to handle the pulsing of the direct drive tool. As you can see, the pulse drive is going to allow about 120 degrees of rotational play and is required to run the tensor pulse strategy. So now that we've taken a look at what it is and what we need, let's take a look at how to program the strategy. So as you can see, I'm connected to my controller right now, and this is gonna be programmed through a standard multi-step strategy. So what you can see here, this is a pretty basic setup. I have just a normal tighten to torque step. I have this set up as my rundown step, and a couple of things you're gonna notice is I'm gonna try and get as much speed as I possibly can out of the tool. When you're pulsing these tools, speed is always gonna be your friend in terms of trying to reduce the amount of reaction force on the operator. So I'm gonna get as much speed as I can out of that. This is about at the max of the tool right now, 325 RPMs since I am using an STR61100. So this is gonna be one of the larger tools on this tensor pulse strategy. The next thing that we're gonna look at in here is we're gonna look at our target torque. Now essentially the way that we've built this program is this first step is just a normal direct drive strategy. So this is just gonna be tightening down a bolt just like you normally would with any other PF6000 software. Now this step is gonna end at 25 Newton meters. So depending on whether we have a hard joint or a soft joint, we're gonna to wanna to adjust this up or down. In this example, uh, we are shooting 55 Newton meters and it's a soft joint. So I actually wanna take this target torque up a little bit higher as opposed to if it was a hard joint and it was gonna be getting to final torque much quicker, then I'm gonna probably dial this down to something like 10 Newton meters or five Newton meters maybe if it's a, a really hard joint. So the next piece I wanna show you is the tensor pulse portion. Now there's not a lot in here in terms of what we can adjust, so it's pretty simple to set these strategies up. I've named the step in here, you can see that's not, you know, you don't need to do that in order for this to run. The important part is setting our final target, so obviously this is shooting 55 Newton meters, and then we have our pulse energy and we have our reaction force tuning factor. Now, these are very important because this is gonna be dialed in based on the joint that we're tightening on. So the pulse energy is going to be the amount of pulse energy that can be sent through the tool into the joint. So for example, if we have a soft joint, we're probably gonna have a higher pulse energy. As you can see, I already have this one set up. If it was a harder joint, we would require less pulse energy to get that to final torque. Now, the key here is, is you have to remember that this is gonna be a percentage based on the tool's capability. So that's why we're not setting it in Newton meters or anything like that. The next item we have is the reaction force tuning factor. Now this 
is actually a, a, an interesting one. So this is for the operator. So this is the amount of reaction force based on the tool action, the pulsing action, that is going to be applied to the operator. So for example, if I lower this number, it's actually going to have less kick on the operator, but it could result in additional pulses. So this is kind of a, a dialing in that we're gonna do right here. So we're gonna dial this in. I've actually tuned this one in for this specific joint. Some of the other things that we can monitor, we can monitor angle, we can monitor the peak torque. Another important one is we can monitor the pulse count. And this is important because on a lot of joints, um, we typically don't want to pulse too many times. So I, I have a pulse count high set up here, but we can also set up a min and max amount of pulses that are allowed to give an OK or an NOK rundown. So from there, that's really all there is to it. But you have to remember something. Because this is a multi-step rundown and it's on a cabled tool, we can add additional steps in here. So for example, if we wanted to condition the joint, we could even run down, back it off, and then start running it down again. That's one of the beautiful things about using the multi-step fastenings is that we can daisy chain up to 10 different steps in here to accomplish the final tightening. So now that we've programmed our strategy, let's go do some rundowns. So as you can see, the tensor pulse strategy is something that we're very excited about here at Atlas Copco. It's just one additional tool in your tool belt to be able to handle all of your application needs with one controller, the PowerFocus 6000. So if you do have any additional questions about the PowerFocus 6000 or the tensor pulse tightening strategy, please feel free to reach out to your local Atlas Copco representative and we'll make sure to get you some information. Thank you.